Hi, and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence. Today we're going to take a look at the NECA Gargoyles Demona. Uh, if you like the video, give me a follow. Thumbs up for the for the video. Follow the channel. Instagram, A Punk With Toys. I'm always posting my toys and different things like that. So, um, I ordered this thing from Target last week. I don't even think I've been to a Target searching for toys since then because frankly, I'm tired of going to Target to find absolutely nothing. So, this here is the third gargoyle of the year by NECA. So, do you know what that ma what that makes this? Three more figures than what Hasbro has given us with the GI Joe Classify. You hear that, Hasbro? Three more figures than your actual property for the 40th anniversary. I'm going to get off this soapbox because I'm going to start to get a little pissed because we haven't gotten any classified. I guess you could count, I guess you could say the Alley Viper came out this year, but some people actually got it last year. But uh, you know what? Enough with G.I. Joe and what Hasbro does and the way they screw us around. I actually have a toy here. Like, I want to spend my money. And NECA gave us something pretty cool. So anyway, let's talk about this. Now, you've seen the Bronx. You've seen my thing log, and you've also seen my Goliath. Now we got Demona. Weird how Neca did it. They showed her second, then all of a sudden Thay log pops. Then we see her, and then all of a sudden Bronx is there. But then anyway, we got this. So here we are. The absolute wonderful art by Neca. And let's be honest, it, it is amazing. And this box, it opens up. It's huge. She's huge. And there you have the picture of her. And again, the best photography, toy photography in the world is NECA. And then you have how she looks. It's hard to see. And, but it has a face sculpt that just pops on, a book, two guns, a couple pairs of hands, her tail, and her wings, which are hidden, which we all know the wings are very large. There we have another picture of her on the side. And then on the back, there she is. She's angry. She's half naked. I don't know why a gargoyle's half naked, but hey, more power to her. And there you go. Other pictures of the figures. And then we have our cross out, which is absolutely wonderful. So anyway, let's not waste too much more time. Let's take, let's open this figure. Let's take a look at it. And if anyone has noticed, I'm wearing the Circle Church suit. Which I did a review of him a while back. And yes, I did get tickets to the show, so... One happy punk here. So anyway, enough with that. Let's take a look at this figure. Because I can actually play with this figure, Hasbro. Look at this. I got a, a, a figure that isn't even their property. Pretty cool. Like, I'm getting on a ramp. Let's take a look at this figure. All right, so here we have it, the box. Again, uh, wonderful artwork here. And we obviously got her open, but there you have the first picture of Demona. And again, I will say it once again, NECA does the best uh, toy photography. Here she is on the side, which is that same picture. And over here we have her still kind of smiling. She's holding her book. And then on the back is where you see her angry with her different weapons. And then with her book. And then the cross cell of the figures that are coming. Okay. So as you can see here, there's still four figures that we haven't that we haven't gotten, but for some odd reason they don't show Bronx or Thalog. So there she is, Demona. Really nice looking figure. Let me just start off by um, numerous reviews and channels have talked about the wings. Mad Hatter and Geek Dead Life both talked about how having bad wings. I do not have bad wings, but I also, after seeing their reviews, I made sure to heat them up, pop them in place, and then slowly bend them. Now, Mad Hatter had two different uh, broken sets of wings, and then Geek Dead Life had a slightly broken one, but nothing major, and he did have the complaint that they tend to fall. Now, I don't really move mine too much, because it has this kind of ratcheting system, so all my wings have kind of sat up perfectly fine. 
but they are very large. Now that doesn't bother me. I like the idea of how big they are, but I also like the draped wings. So I will say right off the bat, she is definitely hard to stand, even with that tail. As you can see, she falls due to how big these wings are. So you're really going to be spending some time posing it, getting her in, getting her in position now. She does have a peg on her toe, odd place for it. But anyway, um, might have to use that to get her to stand and stay uh, standing up. Oops, I should probably cover her privates, shouldn't I? Anyway, <laughs> here's one of the guns that she has. Um, a big old blaster on the middle, big cannon. Must be like a bazooka. You think they'd have like some sort of blast effect, but they don't. So the wings here, again. They do ratchet, and the paint, honestly, is pretty janky, but NECA is not known for their quality control. So, there it is. I've just moved both of them without any issue, but again, I also take my time. Not saying those other guys don't, because I'm sure they do, as they've done way more reviews than I have, um, but I'm not really having an issue with the wings staying up. Although I could see if you move it around too much, the ratcheting system would start to cause an issue. Um, so the thing I do like is that her hair is soft, but unfortunately where these wings set is it makes her look like she's looking down. You can't really get her to look straight. All right, and that is disappointing, but the face sculpt overall looks awesome. And she has real earrings, so they actually shake as you can see right and so instead of giving her a different head they gave her a different face sculpt so this thing just pops out there's two little pegs and obviously the pegs right there so and here if we take a look at her face you can see how angry she looks so then we take her happier face probably when she doesn't hate goliath and it does pop on nice and easy and actually 100% honest I would rather do that than pop off heads because eventually the head you're going to break that joint um, no pinless joints it seems like NECA doesn't believe in pinless joints and so be it I did heat this arm up so you may want to make sure you hit it in some hot water or um, use a blow dryer double joints in the knees so you're gonna get good mobility here and you can get some really nice poses there's no doubt about that the top here for you sick perverts <laughs> does not come off as much as it really does look like it does um, where this is this nice soft rubber which I do like uh, Goliath and Thalog also have it but um, even though this is the hard plastic that goes with her body, it looks the exact same. So I think they did a really nice job there. She does come with three sets of hands. Now I put one trigger finger on. Here we have an open hand. See, she's gonna fall. So, oh, and she also has this little ankle bracelet, I guess you could say, and it actually does move. So it's not just fixed to her leg. Um, and same with this one up here around her bicep. So let's see if I can just get her to stand in place for a second there. So she comes with two fists. And then, oops, two hands that look like that. Whoa, look at that. That's a wonderful interview, huh? review, huh? So there we have another hand. Again, these are more of their clawing hands. Seems like she has, you know, a couple clawing hands for the left. Only one trigger finger, so she's clearly a righty. I'm not gonna lie, that is a little disappointing. Yeah, let's see here. Let's take our action force stand and let's see if we can get her to stand using
See, it's right on the toe, which is kind of weird. Gosh, she's so big, you might need two, <laughs> two stands just to get her to stay up. There we go, look at that. Yeah, she ain't gonna stand. All right, so that's gonna take a little bit of posing. I've obviously had her up in a, a minute ago. So I guess that can be one complaint of how big these wings are. That is for sure. All right, so anyway, she comes with what I guess you would call a bazooka. Now, that is not the, uh, that is not the Hasbro G.I. Joe bazooka as once again, Hasbro doesn't seem to want to give us any G.I. Joe figures this year. And she has this, I guess, missile launcher. I don't fully remember what she had in the, um, in the cartoon. I definitely remember how, where it seemed, if I remember correctly, the gargoyles were anti-technology, but all the bad guys were really into it. And then she comes with her book. Now, I don't remember exactly what the book had to do with, but I gotta say this. So, the book opens, it has this little latch. You open up the book here, and it has this little writing on it. You can move the first page, then you get your second page, and even when you look down to the detail on the rope, it actually looks like it's rope. So it's wonderful detail. There's no doubt about that. Um, I'd have, you know, I started watching on the cartoon again. I need to go back and kind of finish it up. But then you can close it back up, close it, and you have a regular book. So, you know, here's, you know, Goliath's book. So it looks like we might end up with a nice little library um, when all said and done with these gargoyles. So, but let's pop these wings off here. See, now that did fall down fairly easy. Again, these wings are so big. And I can definitely see how they could break. So if you take the wings off, you can see her head sits up much nicer. And we can position her tail to make her stand. So those wings definitely do cause an issue with getting them to stand. Uh, I did not have nearly the same issue with Goliath or Thala, which is the exact same design. And so here I have her actually standing without the tail hitting the ground. So, but looking at the figure, an absolute wonderful looking figure. This is soft, I like it, but unfortunately, the way that it sets with the wings right here, with this being set down, it's gonna push it up no matter what. So our head is gonna constantly be looking down. That is definitely an issue that hopefully NECA can kind of resolve, but I mean, they already have the majority of the gargoyles, you know, ready to be shipped. So I don't know how they're gonna fix that. Um, this line's gonna be done by the end of the year. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of deep cuts they do, but, you know, anyway, this is your Demona. Those wonderful legs. Nice. Absolutely wonderful. I mean, she looks mean. Well, here she looks nice, but she looks powerful. Take the mean face and looks absolutely scary as hell. All right, so let's wrap this up. All right, so actually, let's not wrap this up. We're going to do something really quick, and what we're going to do is going to throw the wings back on. All right, so they do pop on. Again, I'm not having an issue with them falling, so I'm kind of grateful with for that. Um, you can definitely get the wings in a different spot so they don't take up so much uh, room. But if you have the wings up, let's say kind of an attack position so now we'll bring goliath in right next to her so now you can see just exactly how big they are but when people talk about it taking up so much real estate you know if you're able to if you don't have an issue mixing and matching the wings like that you're going to be able to get these figures in there they're just very large figures. Um, I have seen where someone has taken the 
I'll talk about that in a little bit. So anyway, but that's anyway. Anyway, that's how they look together. Um, I absolutely love it. I throw Bronx in here. So, I mean, it's not that much room. It's actually taking up about a foot. They are going to stick out. And I'll obviously Thalog, but we start moving the the wings around. If we throw our draped wings on Goliath, it's definitely not going to take up nearly as much real estate as so many seem to think. Now, let's actually wrap it up. All right, so there you have it. That is a look at our Demona. Again, I do love her. I think she looks absolutely wonderful. Again, there are some complaints. Quality control with NECA, as we know, has never been the greatest, but face sculpt wise, sculpt of the figure is absolutely awesome. Again, I got the whole, you know, here I'm able to get her completely in view in the picture or in, in the video, whole frame of the video. Her wingspan is probably a little over, a, you know, a foot here. But again, you can kind of mix them behind it and you're still going to see the full figure. The wings are going to be the things you don't see as much. So I don't have that much of an issue with the real estate. Now, what I was saying, what I started to say about the wings is that there is a guy um, on one of the NECA Facebook pages that has now taken all of these wings, and I've seen other guys start doing it after he did, was they took a heat gun, and they actually made the wings smaller and draped them over. Um, and he started with, he said, the closest one, and you just kind of, with the heat gun, he said a, a blow dryer probably won't work. You might be able to boil some water, but I'm not sure how, I'm not sure how that would do, but you're able to actually bring in the wings so they take up less space and they look like they did in the cartoon. So like I said, I'm probably gonna order another Goliath so I can have, so I can use the draped wings. And I think when I do that, I think I might actually try it, um, see if I can get it to work. And if I do, then I'll do one wing. If I think that it's working, I'll do a video and show everyone how to do it because this guy that did it, they look absolutely, amazing it looks like how the wings are supposed to look or how the wings at times in the cartoon look so that's a whole nother video that i would be doing i've been on a lot of rants i've been on a lot of rants uh from the circle jerks to hasbro and their issues to now wings so anyway here's your demona i really like this figure um target is the only one that has it right now but she's gonna be a wide release let me just say this, do not, do not go on eBay and start spending 100 to 150 bucks on this figure. She's going to be available. Just give it time. We all want our toys right away. I understand that. But give it time. We saw it with the G.I. Joe Classified. They were outrageous. And then Hasbro said, hey, there's been an issue with the shipping. This was known that it was going to take quite some time to get it, only because... Target was getting them first and only getting, I think, to a store, even if that. So, anyway, Demona, about 36 37 bucks. I forget exactly what I paid. There are some issues with it, no doubt about it. It is not a perfect figure. It's a perfect-looking figure. Um, obviously, some paint issues, but that's NECA. Again, quality control. It seems like it's done by a third grader with crayons. <laughs> <laughs> but sculpt wise looks awesome so anyway i'm gonna wrap it up like the video follow the channel follow my instagram a punk with toys i would definitely appreciate that you'll see all my stuff you'll see other things i just don't always post i don't always do reviews on stuff so anyway i'm gonna get out of here have a great night and once again happy toy hunting